and win. <laughs> the music got good to me. <laughs> uh, on December 31st of 2010, we ended what for us had been a formal three year celebration. For three years, we've been celebrating the 50th anniversary of the advent of Motown Records. We started Motown Records about 30 years before I was born. No, man, I was there on the very first day. I grew up in Motown. Motown was a great place to grow up, man. Yeah. Oh, no, I mean that. It was really great. And especially being a songwriter, because there were so many people there to write your songs on, to record your songs on, have your music being sung on the radio by I do interviews right today. You know what I was going to say? Well, Smokey, what do you do when you hear your music being played on the radio? <laughs> Turn it up. <laughs> other writers and other artists that same question well what do you do when you hear your music being played on the radio <laughs> well I'm so used to it by the they're lying <laughs> we said what we called the Motor Town Review yeah. you could go to the Motor Town Review and on the same show you would see the Temptations yeah. the Four Tops yeah. Marvin Gaye yeah. Mary Wells yeah. Martha the Fantastic, yeah. Marvelous, yeah. Diana Ross and the Supreme, yeah. Stevie Wonder, yeah. Gladys Knight, yeah. Junior Walker, yeah. wow. and the Miracles. Yeah. Yeah. For a dollar and a half, oh. five shows a day, oh. and a movie. <laughs> no, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> No, I didn't say it negatively though, because I missed that. I, I really do, I missed that, I missed that. Because we had a great time. All of us being out there on the road, traveling around from place to place, doing shows, making music, hanging out. It was beautiful. Don't get a chance to see those people nearly as much as I'd like to. The ones of them who are still here with us. But for the ones who are, we run into them every now and then. When we do, we have a great Motown time. It's always good to see it in them. I had the great pleasure of writing some songs for all of them. One of my favorite groups to write for, Devil Work With, period. In fact, they are still one of my favorite groups, man, because if you go see them today, you're going to be turned on, because they are the bomb. The Tempting Temptations. could have been a temple. <laughs> when Temptations first came to Motown, I wrote a couple songs for them. I recorded a couple records on them, and nothing happened. One morning, the Miracles and I were on our way home. We had been on a 50 one night in tour. In those days, we drove everywhere. It was my turn to drive. I'm driving the car. Everybody else was asleep. The song came to me. I said, oh man, I'm going to finish this song, I'm going to go home and record it on the Temptations, which I did. Finally got there, recorded the song on them, and it became their first international smash hit. You got a smile so right. 